Okay, folks, I, I can't see you, so I'm, I'm hoping that you're all there. Um, I'm here to give money to you, uh, or at least to some people that, that, that are worth it. And, and in return, I ask five minutes of your time, not just now, but later on. Uh, you may ask, how can this guy give away money? Well, then we have to go back to 1982. There were uh, a bunch of geeks uh, from all across Europe, the Unix user group, and they, uh, they set up uh, this, uh, this Unix network between them. And my predecessor, Toos Hagen, was the chair of that EUG, and they set up the EUNet. And it was announced in Paris in 1982, in March. And that makes us full circle. Now, that was actually kind of a silent coup by, the, by, by, by some geeks, because at the time, uh, the EU and, and all the, the US government and so, they were all promoting this, uh, this thing called OC. And that didn't work. So uh, the Dutch guys, they were, uh, they, they were pretty, uh, pretty enthusiastic about this whole internet thing, and they just introduced it, and, and they won. And the governments are, of course, still pushing the wrong things. Now we fast forward to 1997, and, and that's when um, a good thing and a sad thing happened, because everything was sold off to the US. It made a lot of money, though. And that money was visionarily put in front of uh, a, a group of volunteers and said, you can spend this on the open internet and, and give it a healthy future. So they established this global fund for any, anyone that has idea to improve the internet. And the idea, what it does of what we do is we give out micro grants. So we make people uh, that have a plan to, to, to do the next thing for the internet. And we just give them money to work on it. It's, it's a very simple idea, but it's, there's some conditions, like it's always open source. And we do that on many different layers. So for instance, we, we are very big on open standards. We, we fund lots of standardization work within the XMPB Foundation, the IETF, W3C. Uh, we back specific important standards like DNS security, uh, open document format, um, PP, uh, SPP, uh, which is a peer-to-peer -peer security, uh, peer-to-peer -peer format. Um, we funded the, the, the GPL v3 uh, together with others. Uh, we fund open source uh, anti-censorship tools like Tor and GNUnet and uh, Lantern, SecureShare. We fund a lot of research like the, the, the famous SSL observatory from EFF. Uh, we do uh, stuff like CA cert, uh, the NoScript browser plugin. We don't like locked, being locked into to specific providers, so we, we do stuff like Serval and Jitsi and Blink that are alternatives to Skype. We do all kinds of uh, open hardware uh, and networking technology. Uh, so people may, may or may not know these things, but, but they're really cool. In fact, uh, we think that they are, uh, uh, it's, it's very important to, to always keep uh, uh, the, the innovation going outside of the bigger companies. And, and we try to enable the small guys to, uh, to actually do that. Now, what we're all to working towards is a decentralized open internet. Now, this is 2014, and it's one year after Snowden, and I don't think the internet is in a very good place at this moment, so we could still do with some help. And somebody out there uh, may have some brilliant ideas, and, and they may wonder, can this NLNet folks help me? And yes, we can. So uh, if you go to our website, you can just uh, submit a proposal. Of course, there's another reason for me to be here, because coming all the way to Paris uh, just, just to give away money is maybe a little too much. So why am I here? Well, maybe you guys can help make that happen as well, because we are a private foundation, so we're spending our own money. And that means that unlike companies where money keeps on flowing in, and every year it's a, it's a wealthier year than the year before, um, and there's a really simple way in which you can help. And if you look outside, you will find these bits of paper, and they will tell you how to do it in five minutes. And it's even in a, in, a, in a good cause. It's by helping to protect open source software. And you don't think perhaps that open source software needs to be protected because it's copyright, uh, you have the GPL. Well, there's a good reason for it to be protected. Uh, this is the software that is protected, and there's, there's a lot more. And what we ask of people is to promise not to attack the other users of these open source packages. And, and it's, a, it's a trivial promise. It's only promised to the people that also promise it. And that has two results. The first thing is that it helps it prevent attacks against uh, open source software users. And the second is that it helps fundraising for the open internet because 
uh, at the other end, there's people that are bothered very much by software patents. Hewlett Packard last week created a $1 billion fund just to protect its customers and itself against attacks on just OpenStack. And that's, that's only one of the, 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 the bits of software that's, we have hundreds of software packages that we're trying to protect, so um, we need your help there. Well, and it's about five minutes of work, uh, and, and, and really that's all. That's all you need to do to really, really, really help the internet. It really, really makes a huge difference. Uh, we can use not just companies, but also any open source projects or not-for-profits or university faculties. So if you can spend five minutes today and, and if possibly get people to spend five minutes tomorrow, uh, you, you would really, really help out. Um, and now this is a bit where I fake history and we, we get to choose between two futures. The future A, this is what the NSA internally projects itself on top of the world. And this is where the internet says, well, maybe we're three billion people. Maybe we, sh we shouldn't let ourselves be, uh, be taken over by this future. So either do we give up control over the internet and sort of relinquish and say, well, somebody owns our mobile platforms and our data and our social graph, or do we reboot the internet just like the Renaissance sort of took back the old stuff from the old days and, uh, and, and takes it further? And, um, well, if you see people wearing a shirt like this, then you can just shake their hands and thank them because they've already helped. If you sign up three people, we send you the shirt. Uh, and it's really true. We really create our own internet of tomorrow.